if we just reach out and get our minds and our hearts fixed on him tonight. There's no telling what he'll do. Come on, do you believe it tonight? He's a God of the impossible. If there's something that you think that can't be done, believe me, he can do it. He can do it. I'm a living testimony. I'm a living witness tonight that he can do anything but fail. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand of praise tonight. Because he lives. Do you belong to Jesus today? 
Thank you, Lord. Come on and praise Him. Give Him a little praise. Thank God we even know all around here. Thank God we even know all around here. Thank God I said we come up to lift up Jesus. Can you say amen? I said we come to praise the Lord. Thank God with both hands. Amen. That's a song to praise Him on your hands. Thank God praise Him on your feet. Come on and praise Him tonight. I said let's just take time to praise the Lord. What did you come to do? And they said, I come to praise the Lord. Look over at your neighbor and say, I come to praise the Lord. Thank God, and I don't care who's watching, amen, because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I tell you what, he's come. Thank God, I think he took his thing real serious. Thank God, when he gave his very life, can you say amen? When they beat him on his back, I think it was serious. No, I know it was serious, Brother BJ. Thank God, I know it was serious. Can you say amen? Thank God. I tell you what, we just got to be real with the Lord. I said, we got to be real with Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's time to get real. It's time to be real. God knows our lives. He knows how we're living. He knows what we stand. He knows if our name is in the Lamb Book of Life because He's the one that put it there. Can you say amen? Thank God. We just got to trust in the Lord. Thank God. I just want to tell you tonight, thank God that I love the Lord. I love Jesus tonight. I, I'm not ashamed of it. Come on and say, I love you, Jesus. Say, I love you, Jesus. I'm God, because he's been so good to us, hasn't he? I said, he's been so good to us. Ain't God, I tell you what, we don't have to put our hope in nothing else. Because man of us with Jesus. He said, I'm saying today, yesterday, and forever, and I change not. Come on, lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank you for changing not. Lord, I thank you for standing with me when I didn't even deserve it, Lord. God, I thank you for just being God, being good to me. Thank God, and I didn't even I want to act right. But I didn't even want to do right. God, you had mercy on me. And come on and say, Lord, I thank you for bringing me out. Bringing me out into this marvelous life. Thank you, Jesus. I love him tonight. I said, I love Jesus tonight. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Thank God, I want to be with him. I want to, my God, when he comes back, I want to go be with Jesus. Thank God, if he calls me home between now and then, I want to be with Jesus. Amen. Thank God, I don't want to miss out. I said, I want to lay aside everything that's so easy to beset us. And there's things in the tricks of the devil and then tries to beset us. But I want to, if I got anything in me, come on and say, Lord, if I got anything in me, I want to lay it to a side. If you really mean it tonight, I want to lay it aside. I, I want to make it. Can you say, I just want to make it. Thank God, I don't care what nobody thinks about us. Thank God, and nothing else, we got to make it. Can you say amen? Thank God, they, they thought they was crazy. They said, these people here is drunk. It's already early in the morning. They drunk already. What's wrong with them? Thank God, they was drunk on that new one, Brother BJ. When the boy looked at us, I wanted to look at us and say, there's some peculiar people. I think they're a little crazy. Thank God, but that's all right. We crazy for Jesus today. Amen? Thank God, who are you crazy for? Thank God, I said, who are you crazy for tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift your hands and shout Jesus tonight. Glory, hallelujah. Thank God, I wish somebody get excited with me. I said, I just wish a couple of people get excited with me. Thank God, Brother BJ, I wish when you get excited with me and scream out the name of Jesus real loud one time. Glory, hallelujah. Thank God, how many is just ready to have church tonight? Thank you, Jesus. It's time, amen. Thank God, I want you to shake off everything. I said, everything is so easy. Thank God on your mind tonight. I want you to lay it down. Thank God. And thank God. Throw it out the tent. Thank God. And I want you to be ready. Do not be ashamed. Not be, my God, burdened down to lift your hands. If you want to lift your hands. Thank God if you want to shout tonight. Thank God I encourage you to do it. Can you say amen? Thank God the ballrooms are full tonight. Today they shout. The ball games are still full. They still shouting. Thank God we God's people. We can shout. Amen. We ain't got to sit on our hands, amen. Thank God, they don't care who's there. Thank God, they don't care who's there. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. They'll begin to shout, amen. It's time for us not to care tonight. Thank God, but it's time to lift up the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands tonight. All over this place, lift your hands and just begin to praise the Lord. Thank God, because it ain't going to happen without Jesus. Can you say amen? I said, it ain't going to happen without Jesus. I said, if the Lord don't show up, we're wasting our time. Amen. Come on, lift your hand and say, Lord, come by here. Say, Lord, come by here, Jesus. 
Come on and begin to tell the Lord to come by here. Thank God and meet every need. Won't you take just a second just to pray for somebody? Won't you just call somebody's name out in prayer? Your children, your grandchildren, your next door neighbor, the enemy, somebody call the name out in prayer. Somebody call your name out in prayer. Amen. Thank God he said to have to obtain mercy. You got to show some mercy. Come on. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brother Walden tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Where's he at tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I don't know exactly who you are, but Brother Walden, come on up here and testify and say something for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's give him and the Lord a hand clap of praise tonight. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, I said praise the Lord, everybody. Ain't God good? He's a mighty good God. Amen. Hallelujah. He's, done, he's doing miracles, wonders. You know, we're praying about a lot of signs. Amen. I think when they get past all the signs and wonders, I think they've done showed up. And we see them right now where we're living in. Amen. We're from over here at Calhoun, Georgia. Y'all right here on 59. We're on 75. We come all the way over there to be with y'all in service tonight. I'm, I'm an associate pastor there at the Bible Church of Jesus in Calhoun, Georgia. Sit under John Tipton for 15 years and he passed away. Pastor Eddie Cochran right now is my pastor. Um, we come over to be in fellowship with y'all tonight under the tent. Know that somebody come for a word. I know if you didn't come for a word, I come for a word. I brought my wife, Sister Timmy, and, and Walden and my granddaughter Madison with us there tonight. But we come to be in fellowship with y'all tonight. And we, we've been watching you all the way back when the pandemic started. And um, things got tough. And uh, we, we, we would plan on coming down to Chickasaw. And uh, we got a 30-foot uh, travel trailer to tell Brother Reed was what we're coming to be in fellowship with y'all. We're coming, amen. We don't know when yet, but we're coming. I, I'd actually fell and hurt my shoulder and had uh, uh, some surgery on it, so it seemed like they some things the devil's trying to keep us from moving around. You know what? That's what he does. He tries to put up stumbling blocks for you, amen. Amen. you got to kick them stumping blocks out of the way and keep pressing on. Because I tell you what, we got to get ready. The Bible says to gird yourself, amen, and let your light shine because Jesus is coming back, amen. You better be ready, wait and watch because He's coming back after His people, amen. The Bible said, Jesus said this, if, if you knew if the good man would have known what the enemy was coming to steal and breaking his house, he'd take his goods, he'd have been watching, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to keep our light shining. Amen. Because the old enemy, he's trying to steal everything we got. He's trying to steal your joy. He's trying to steal your peace. He's trying to steal your love. Amen. He's trying to steal your happiness. He's trying to steal your family. He's trying to break your heart. Amen. He wants you discouraged. He wants you, he wants you all beat up. He wants you to keep looking down like the woman that walked around bowed over for 18 years. Amen. And she thought she loved lost her hope. She lost her joy. She lost everything she had to Jesus come along. Amen. And restore that. Can I tell you, anybody who's been tonight knows that Jesus can do it for you too. If you need anything, my Jesus has got it. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. And as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Amen. No matter what devil comes against us, we're going to keep on fighting. We're going to keep on pressing. All I tell them is bring it on. Amen. We're ready for you. Amen. We've been through so many things. There ain't nothing the devil can do to stop us, brother. But we got all power, all authority, all authority, and all dominion. We rule and reign with the mighty power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And fight through storms and everything we come up across. Amen. It's good to be with y'all tonight. Glad for the opportunity to get up and say something tonight. Sister Barn, hey, uh, Sister Linda, good to see you. I haven't met you yet, but I'm going to meet my wife. But good to be here with y'all tonight. 
We love you more than anything. We love Jesus. How many loves Jesus? Amen. How many of you better love Jesus? Amen. You better love Jesus more than you love your wife. You better love Jesus more than you love your husband. You better love Jesus more than you love all that money you got. Amen. You better love Jesus more than all those possessions you got. You better love Jesus with everything in you. Cleanse your heart. You double-minded people. Amen. Repent. Get back upon your feet. No, Jesus is coming back. Keep playing. Keep your life burning. Keep your eyes shining. Hallelujah. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank God it's time to love the Lord. Amen. I said it's time to love Jesus. I said it's time to fall in love all over again. Can you say amen? I said fall in love all over again. Thank God. Be able to. Thank God no matter what comes or what goes. Say I'm going, Jesus. Say Lord, I'm going. My wife may not even like me. She may not go, but I'm going. Can you say amen? Thank God my next door neighbor may not even like me. Thank God but Jesus, I'm going on anyhow. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and put your hands together tonight. I said put your hands together for Jesus. Thank God. Somebody shout, I love you, Lord. Say, I love you, Jesus. Thank God because he first loved us, didn't he? I said, Jesus first loved us, didn't he? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. Ain't you glad to be in Collinsville tonight? Thank God. Ain't you glad to be here tonight? Thank God. Lay them straight up there, half dead somewhere. Thank God. You got breath. Why don't you praise the Lord tonight? Thank God. They say you shouldn't have to pump and prime. Well, I try to help pump and prime. Amen. I, I take a hope to the hammer a few minutes. Amen. I, I want to see the Lord do something. Amen. Uh, how many just wants to see the Lord do something? How many just wants to see that revival that we've been promised? Amen. How many just wants to see that revival at that point? Then you see your children run in. Your grandchildren, your, your brothers and your sisters run in. And fall down at the altar and say, Lord, have mercy on me. Thank God a sinner, Lord. Save me. Wash me in the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We don't change the order of the seven and ask you to help us tonight. Thank God in the offering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Reed, Sister Reed puts on a great load. Thank God. And they never complain. Thank God. He never mama a word. Thank God. When it's time to go, can you say amen? Thank you, Lord. I've been over at times we're supposed to leave at six. Thank you, Lord. And it would be twelve or one. And we'd be thinking, what is taking them so long? We thought it was because Brother Reed was getting ready. But a man can't take that long to get ready, is it? He was getting ready, all right. He was making plans, amen. Making sure everything was in order. Make sure we had enough to make it. Thank God. Can you say amen? Thank God. Making sure we had enough of diesel to make it. Making sure if something happened, we had enough to make it. Can you say amen? Thank you, Lord. And we've come out of that revival mobile here while back and just a few weeks ago, and that's how we got here. Can you say amen? Thank God. We need your help tonight. I said, we need your help tonight. Thank God. And I want you to get something out tonight. And bring it up here and put in these buckets. Thank God. And just let the Lord lay something on your heart. Thank God. If it ain't but a dollar. If it ain't nothing but five dollars or ten dollars or a hundred dollars. Whatever you got. Bring it tonight. Thank God. And let's help get this gospel out. Thank God. This may be you tonight. Amen. Come on. Get out of your seats tonight. Come on. We get ready to go follow this service. Let's take some time. Thank God. And don't thank God here tonight. Come on. Show them up. How much you appreciate it. For sending this seat to come. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Somebody else, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Put yourself in this stuff. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Don't hold back on God.
that sticks by the man of God that, that keeps him pulling him along. Amen. Thank God, you know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. She can get him to do what nobody else can. Come on and stand to your feet tonight. Thank God and give us some honor tonight. Come on and give Jesus a big hand for us. I feel the presence of the Lord. What about you? I usually kind of step back now. These kids have grown up and grandchildren. And they kind of come out here and do the job. <laughs> they do a good job. <laughs> and we traveled away for years and years and years. But thank God that he sent a new crop <laughs> in our family to help do the things they help do. And I appreciate them. I really appreciate them. But I just appreciate the Lord and I'm just expecting God to bring revival. I told somebody they called from home today and they said, we need to attend to some things here. We need extra people to help clean the church. <laughs> and I said, well, we're going to be taking the tent down on Saturday. We'll be there on Sunday. And I said, unless God chooses this time to bring you a revival. <laughs> I don't know when I'll come in, but I appreciate the Lord so much. And I came with an expectation of real revival. <laughs> what about you? Just give him a big hand, praise Hold on. I won't stay up here too long. I just want you to know how much I appreciate the Lord. There's not enough words to tell how good he's been to me. I appreciate him. God bless you.
crazy.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Put your hands together. Give it a big praise. Hallelujah. Let's sing a little bit of this old song. Oh, I've seen. Oh, I shouted. On the happy morning. All shall rise. Oh, I go. Hallelujah. When we be God bless and safe in the sky. Let me say you that the heavenly host. We begin to sing.
you, Jesus.
All the praise and all the honor and all the glory goes to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Boy, don't you love him? Boy, you never mentioned Jesus to me. But 
And you shall find a rest. That's where we're going to find rest. Amen. Is in that old path. Amen. God had not changed, folks. Man has changed. God ain't changed. God ain't changed. I know we're in a modern day, we're in a modern time, and all boundaries has been taken down in a way. You're foot loose to do what you want now. Speak in tongues and shout. Grace covers you. Grace don't cover you to live in sin. Grace is sent to deliver us from sin. But the new message is, you know, Paul spoke about, he said, if there's anybody coming preaching you another gospel, then this I preach and let him be a curse. He said, though we are an angel from heaven, come and preach you any other gospel. And this I have preached to you, Paul said, let him be a curse. He repeated himself. He repeated himself. What he was saying under no, under no circumstances is what I'm teaching you ever to be changed. It was given to me by God. The Holy Ghost gave it to me. This gospel that I preached to you is to never ever be changed. But we're living in a time that man is just changing. Getting his own doctrine. His own way. His own teachings. Not the doctrines of Christ. The doctrines of men. I said not the doctrines of Christ, but the doctrines of men. The Bible said, Paul said, the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. And they would give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils from such turn away. All across this nation and around the world, people are being seduced. Preachers are being seduced by doctrines of devils and they're giving up the old way, the old path. And they're leading people down this new path. And Jesus said, I'm the way. There ain't another way to heaven but Jesus. There ain't another door but Jesus. You can't get in. You can't get in except you go through Jesus. And Jesus is the Word. The Bible said in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same as in the beginning with God. All things made by Him. Without Him there was nothing made. It was made in Him was life and the life was a lot of evil and the light shined in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not there was a man sent from God whose name was John was not that light was sent to bear witness of that light which was the true light that came into the world that lighted every man born not of the will of man will of flesh but of the will of God and that word was made flesh and the will among us and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father Full of grace and truth. He was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. We in a generation that don't know the real Jesus. They know the Antichrist. The gospel. That Antichrist gospel. Many people that used to know Jesus don't know him anymore. They know this new gospel which is the Antichrist. That's his teaching. When you start changing that word of God into another message, you start changing it into another doctrine. That's the doctrine of the Antichrist. Amos said that in the eighth chapter. You have your Bibles. Amos chapter eight. How many appreciates the Word of God? Yeah. Yeah. Amos chapter 8. And 
And verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. And shall not find it. Did you hear that? Yes. Behold the days come. Said the Lord. That I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread. Nor thirst for water. But for hearing. Of the word of God. Yes. Hearing of the word of God. Yes. Why would God. Send a famine. Why would God. Take his word and send a famine for hearing it is when people reject it. Amen. As long as people receive the word of God, God God's no God got no reason to take his word. God wants us to have his word. He has no reason to take away his word. But do you know? If God took his word told away from this nation, it wouldn't last a month. He said a people or nation that forget God. God shall turn them into hell. That's where we are tonight. America is in hell. Is fearful to just about walk outside, yes. go to Walmart, yes, to go in the parking lot. Yes, it's is. Is fearful to send your kids to school anymore. Yes, oh, not my school. Let me tell you, the devil's a spirit. Yes, I said, the devil's a spirit. Yes, and he's taking people over. Yes, and they're doing all these helios crimes. No natural person could mutilate babies like that. It's the devil took them on. But God has to back up. See, see, the devil can't do nothing like this unless God backs up. And allow him to. Satan don't have the power to override God and do what he wants to do. God backs up and allows to come in. The Bible said Satan comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. What brings a change when, when you see the time we're living in and the trouble that's upon us, what brings a change is repentance. Most churches it's got suppers and dinners and fish fries, but they ain't got no prayer meeting. Amen. They got trips. Amen. Vacation trips. But they ain't got no prayer meeting. Amen. It's time to pray. Amen. It's time that me and everyone pray. The Bible said men always ought to pray and not to fight. It's time to get on our knees and cry for God in repentance. This nation is falling. It's slipping up the edge. You don't know what's going to hit. You don't know what's going to flash across the news. We got a fool over yonder with his hand on a nuclear button just itching to blow the world up. Man, a man with no heart like that, a man with no God like that, a man like that that don't even know God is totally possessed by the devil, he would rejoice to see in the world go up and fire. He would gladly do it yes, he would. if God allowed. Yes, he He'd blow this world entirely to bits. There's enough, enough nuclear power to destroy this world. Amen. Just one, just one nuclear warhead has two hundred times stronger than all the world together. 
is one. There's one more here. It's 200 times stronger than all of World War II put together. It's just one. Then you got some of them got eight warheads. Ten. You got these out there that's itching to get their hands on them. Just itching. You got our leaders that just look like they're itching to help them get it. We need revival. We need an old fashioned. We don't need to just gather up. We need an old fashioned devil casting out. Sick healing, blind eye open, lame walking, debt raising, devil chasing, Holy Ghost revival. We don't need some weakling stuff. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and of all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall be able to hurt your hunger. He said, The time would come that I'll send a famine in the land. And the reason God sends a famine is when people turn their back on the true word of God and go after another doctrine. Go oh, after another gospel. You know, Paul spoke about another Jesus. But there ain't another Jesus. There ain't but one Jesus. There ain't another gospel. There ain't but one gospel. And that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. But he told us that if any man come preaching that other gospel, let him be a curse. And Amos said here, Behold, I was, the days will come, said the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. Right now, right now, the preachers has diminished, diminished the voices that used to be ringing out across this nation. There are no more. I said the voices that used to be ringing out the word of the Lord. It's about cease, totally cease in our generation. What stands up against the devil, what stands up against darkness is the word of God. See, the word of God drives back darkness. It drives back evil. It drives back sin. It drives back the devil. It drives back war. It drives back homosexuality. It drives back transgender. Our government, not just the government, you got churches that's been in the bow. They don't want to be controversial. You know, the Southern Baptists, they said, well, last year, two years ago, couldn't even get up, get up enough votes to condemn two men getting there. Well, there are enough folks standing My God. to condemn it in their organization. Oh, That's where we stand in yes, yes. You got church going on, but there ain't nothing. It's a, you know what Jesus told them there in the 23rd chapter of Matthew? He said, you're like them, you're like them graves. You're like them sepulchers. He said, it's beautiful on the outside. But on the inside, you're full of dead men bones. Them, them, them temples and great big churches, they're so beautiful on the outside. But when you get inside, they're full of dead men bones. Oh, my God. You polish. They polish. They look good from the outside. They ain't got nothing down the inside. It's for a dead man ball. Dry and cold. No joy. No peace. No faith. Hallelujah. It's time to wake up. I said it's time to wake up. Therefore, wake up out and sleep it and arise from the dead. It's time to get up and live. Be like David. I'm 
believe I'll live and not die and declare the works of God. Too many folks are throwing the towel in. We like to be, we need to be like that old fighter. Getting whooped ever around. Just getting beat half to death. But he's waiting on that shot. Waiting on that punch. This, his manager just got tired of looking at him get beat to death. He threw the towel in. He reached in and threw it back there. Don't you throw no towel in on me. I ain't done yet. I ain't through with it yet. I ain't giving up. No towel ain't gonna make me give up. Don't you throw no towel. There ain't no quit. Them knows it ain't time to quit. It's no time to quit. It's time to get up and fight the good fight of faith and lay hold of the eternal life. It's time to get back up, folks. Quit sitting there and dying. Some people go to church and get corns on the rear end. They never make one swing at the devil. At least you could get up and swing at him. If I get him down, bless God, jump and run up and kick him. Don't watch me kick him. Get in on the gym. Get in on it. Get in on the fight. It's time for you to get up and get in on the fight. Put nothing two or three people do the fight at the church. Get up and start having them fight. And the more you sit, the more the devil's going to sit you. Colder you get, the colder you're going to get. There ain't nothing no colder than a bed of ashes where fire used to be. I said, there ain't nothing no colder than where fire used to be. Right where the old coals used to be red hot and flaming. You can go there and stick your hand down the deep you get in that bed of ashes, the colder it gets. God never did intend for us to sit around and die. He expected us to get up and fight. Fight for your soul. Fight for your children. Fight for your church. Fight for America. Fight for this nation. We sit right here and the devil moving in, killing our children in school, mutilating them. They had to get DNA to find out who them children belong to. Couldn't even look at them and tell oh who they belong to. Jesus. Had to get DNA to find out who the parents oh were. Mutilated. That ain't just some normal thing. That's God's judgment on this nation. That's God's judgment on this generation. Do you hear me? I know we don't want to hear this, but it's God's judgment. And that ain't the end of the judgment. That's why we need to pray. That's why we need to send him to go. Cry to God and say, God, save us. Save us. But our pulpits are cold. Dry. Most preachers are talking and still are preaching now. They got the computers and not the Bible. Give me my Bible. You have your computer. I don't know how to work them no how. I don't want to know how to work them. But I know how to open this old Bible. I know how to flip the pages on this old King James version of the Bible. And I do know how to read enough to read the Bible. Hallelujah. I know what God is saying. I know what God is telling us. When I read the Bible, it's God's word to this generation. Yes, it is. I said, yes, it is. They're so fancy. So popular. So uptown. We 
open the little computers. Don't even carry the Bibles no more. Well, it reads the same thing. I don't know if it do or not. But I know what that reads. I can't tell you what to read. But I can read that one. I can read that old-fashioned Bible. I can open this old black book and hear what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah! That's why we're not hearing the Word of God. That's why the pulpits are dry. That's why the hands of the preachers are empty. That's why the altars are dry when it used to be wet with tears. Most churches don't even believe in an old-fashioned altar call anymore. Let's just rush it on through, get the offering, and send them home. I still believe in an old-fashioned altar call. Bringing sinners to the altar. Bringing sinners to Jesus. Leading them to the foot of the cross. Tell them, cry out, repent of your sins. Oh, yes. Not just join the church. There's more to it than join. You join every church in the United States of America and die and go to hell. You need to be born again. You need to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. He said, let me find it. Not for bread and water, but hear it. The words of the Lord. We need God's word, folks. We need God's word. When somebody comes along preaching it, people look at him like, where are you from? What kind of planet are you from? I'm from Earth. Born in Alabama. Raised in Alabama. Hallelujah. Preaching all around. Hallelujah! Came the gospel! Came the gospel to the needy! Healing the sick, casting out devil! Telling the world that Jesus is coming, getting right, getting ready, getting the altar, and call on the name of Jesus and get your spirit right. Get this mess out of you. Get this hate out of you. Get this jealousy out of you. Get this squabbling and fussing. Most churches, all they do is fuss and squabble. They fight over something. They'll find something to fight over. It's time to get the love of God in our heart. Come back to Jesus. Forgive one another. I was said forgiving one another. Some folks just love to keep a mess going. If there ain't no mess going, they'll get up a mess and get it going. They'll start something. Him, it was this time to get it right, folks. It's time to get it right. It's time to go back to Jesus. It's time to return to holiness and righteousness. It's time to return to the love of God. He said, love one another. God loved you. He said, this is the way that you'll know that you're my disciple when you have love one for another. He said, when you stand praying, you have open your heart against your brother. Forgive! That your heavenly father might forgive you. God said, if you don't forgive your brother, don't ask me to forgive you. There's a lot of folks tonight unforgiven, still going to church, but they're unforgiven because they hadn't forgiven their brother. They hadn't forgiven their sister. So if you hadn't forgiven others, then you're not forgiven. If you're holding somebody's sins, God's holding you. Until you repent. Until you let go. God's got it fixed. I said, God's got it fixed. Well, we can't harbor unforgiveness in our hearts and come to Him and get forgiveness for ourselves. It don't work like that. You got to first, He said, when you stand praying, if you have all in your heart against your brother, forgive that your Heavenly Father might forgive you. 
He left us no excuse. When Jesus was crucified on the cross, he said, Father, forgive me, for they know not what they do. Stephen's being stoned to death. Said, Lord, lay not this sin to thy charge. And he fell asleep. Free. Free. Hallelujah. Oh, but the devil, right down to the edge, he tried to cut him off from the king. He tried to make him die with unforgiveness in his heart. But the devil didn't make the grave. I said, the devil didn't make the grave. Stephen, cry out. Father, lay not this sin to their charge. He fell asleep. He fell asleep. Hallelujah. So if he had anything wrong, God took it away. He didn't die but unforgiveness. Can you save me? Save him in the land. Not for bread and water, but for hearing the word of God. We end up lost our backbone to stand up and declare God's word. It's not popular. It's not popular. The truth is not popular anymore. You, if you didn't preach the truth, you couldn't get no open doors. Now if you preach it, you can't get in it. Folks will shut the doors in your face all across this nation. Just like that, people have shut the doors. One phone call to the next, people shut the doors. Because they no longer want the word of God. They no longer want the truth. But we gotta go on. We gotta keep preaching. Can you say amen? And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So they run from the east to the north looking for God's word. How many knows the word of God is precious? The Bible said when, when, when Samuel, time of Eli and Samuel, the Bible said the word of God was precious in those days. The Word of God was precious. What I want you to know, the Word of God is precious in these days. The truth is hard to come about. There's a price behind standing for God's Word. Listen to what he said. In that day shall the fair virgin and young men faint for thirst. In other words, for the Word of God. Not getting the drink. Not getting the food they need. So they're faint. Folks are fainting because preachers are compromised. People are fainting all around this nation. But God's going to reach the hunger. You hear me? God's Word is going to go to the hunger. His Word is going to go out. It's going to rescue the hungry and the people that still want the truth. I was said that the word of God was precious in those days. He told them there in the book of Exodus 7. The book of Leviticus turned real quick. The book of Leviticus, chapter 4. In verse 1. And the Lord spake to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of commandments, of the Lord concerning things which ought not to be done 
you shall do against any of them. But the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people. Then let them bring for him which he hath sinned a young bullock without blemish unto the Lord and a sin offering. Turn with me to Exodus chapter 24. Exodus, Exodus chapter 24. He said unto Moses, Come up, thou unto the Lord, and there. Said the elders of Israel, and worship ye or fall. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come nigh. Neither shall the people go with him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord. And all the judgments and all the people answered with one voice and said the words which the Lord has said will we do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord rose up early in the morning and built an altar unto the hill and were twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered burnt offerings and sacrifice, peace and offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in the basin. Half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All the Lord has said will we do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people. And behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord made concerning all these words. But there in the Bible, he told the children of Israel, he said 24 hours a day to keep the lamp burning. So go out and get olive oil. And said, crush the oil and keep it burning before me. But in the time of Eli, the lamp had gone out in the house of the Lord. The Bible said Eli had got big. The Bible spoke about they went out to Bible Hoffman and Phineas went out to battle. One come running back with dirt on his head. What had happened, the Bible said that Hoffman and Phineas, his sons, was committing adultery in the doors of the tabernacle. And they were stealing offerings out of the bucket. More. They was allowed to get what they need. But they began to go too deep. And take what they shouldn't, what authorized to have. And the Bible said that the lamp had gone out in the house of God. And it knows tonight that the lamp has gone out all across America in the house of God. The lamp is that spirit. The lamp is the word of God. That light, that lamp. Represented the Spirit of God. And God said, go out and cross all of it. And said, bring him into the house of God. And said, let that lamp burn 24 hours a day. But in the time of Eli, the lamp had gone out. They didn't no longer went out. How many of those men are no longer going out and crushing olives? And bringing back oil. 
Oh, how many of the house of God needs oil? Needs an oil. I said the house of God no longer is being going out crushing olives. Bring it back to oil to keep the lamp burning in the house of God. The Bible said the lamp had gone out in the house of God. They went out to battle. He come running back with dirt on his head. Eli said, what? What about my two sons, Hoffman and Phineas? He told him, he said, they're dead. But you know, that wasn't the worst thing that he heard. His two sons was dead. But that wasn't what made him fall backwards and break his neck. And then he asked, what about the Ark of the Covenant? He said, the enemy has took it. And that's when he fell back and broke his neck. The enemy stole the Ark of the Covenant. Inside that ark was the Ten Commandments. It had a bowl of manna that the children of Israel received from heaven. It also had Aaron's rod that budded. In every place they went, they'd take that ark that was God in the midst of the people. God was in that ark. Hallelujah. I said, God was in that ark. But his two sons dying in the war wasn't what caused him to fall backwards. But when they said, what about the ark? Said the enemy has took the ark. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He fell backwards. The Bible said one of his daughter-in-laws was with child. She went into birth and she gave birth. And they named this name Inkabah, which means the Spirit of the Lord had departed. What an awful thing. What an awful thing to have the Spirit and the power of God. Play around and let the lamp go out. Hey, you you got to work to keep the lamp burning. You got to get up and pray. You got to crush them old olives. You got to bring olive oil into the house of God and make sure the lamp's got oil. Let it burn. Jesus. Let it be a light for the world Amen. to see. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hope in a dark world. Amen. I said, let him see hope in a dark world. Amen. He told him that in Exodus and Leviticus. He said, go out and get olive oil and always keep the lamp burning. Always keep the lamp burning. Most churches today, the lamp ain't burning. The fire's gone. The joy's gone. Hallelujah. It's time to come back to God. It's time to come back. It's time to go back out and get some olives and crush them with olives and bring the oil into the house of God. It's time to come to the altar and pray. Pray until the fire comes. Pray until the anointing comes back. Pray until the joy and the glory Can you say that? Oh, lift your hands and praise. Tell him you love him. I said, tell him you love him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tell him you appreciate it. Here it is right here, Exodus 27, 20. And thou shalt command the children of Israel that they bring thee pure olive oil beaten for the light to cause the lamp to burn always. Oh, how many of the house of God supposed to be a place that just help and beat the cup? But you've got to continue to keep the fire burning for folks to be able to come and get help. You can let the fire go out. You can die out, grow cold, lose the joy. They come in, they look around and say, this ain't the church I grew up in. 
This ain't the church that I used to come to. This ain't the people. My God, old sister so-and-so used to be running the aisles by now. She'd be shouting by now. Oh, this whole place would be upside down by now. What's happened to it? I'll tell you what's happened to it. We don't want to crush them all. We don't want to come to the altar and pray through week by week, day by day. We don't want to get back out there and crush them all the balls and bring all. Yes. And keep the light on. Keep the light fire burning. Yes. Yes. Churches used to go, go by. You see cars seven days a week. People yelling up for you. Now you go by day after day, night after night, and it's just as dead as a door. Yes, Nobody's showing up. Amen. Everybody's going to Six Flags, Disney World now. Yes, That's where the church is. Yes. That's where the church is. The church is out there with the world. Yes. I said the church is out there with the world, but they're going to heaven. They still got the Holy Ghost. What happened to that old Holy Ghost? It used to wouldn't let you do those things. What happened to that Holy Ghost you got years ago that separated you from the world? That told you to come out of her, my people. Be not partake of her sins. And you won't be a partaker of her plague. John said, love not the world, neither the things in the world. If the love of the world is in you, the love of the Father is not. All of the world is the lust of the eye and the pride of life and the lust of the flesh. These are not of the Father, but of the world. And the world's going to pass away. And the lust of it. But he that do the will of my Father. I find me a church don't preach as hard. There are plenty of them out there. Sister and brother. But I'm going to preach it. I'm going to preach it from left to myself. I'm going to preach it if ain't nobody left here with me. If all y'all leave off this mountain, I'm going to preach it. If ain't nobody but me, I'm going to still preach it. I'm going to call out and stand up. Lift up my voice like a trumpet. Show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob. Part of them at the beach and the other half is at Six Flags. That's where the church is. Yeah. Or Disney World. Yeah. That's why the fire's gone out. That's why there ain't no glory to draw sinners in. That's why revival has died. Because yeah. over that Disney World and other habits at the beach. Strung out naked. Yeah. Go ahead. Put it on Facebook. Go ahead. Oh, now the Holy Ghost. Going out there, stepping down, putting it on Facebook. Something has happened to the conscience. Something has happened to people's Holy Ghost. I'll tell you something. You better believe something's happened. It's lost. That lamp's gone out. The fire has gone out. Hallelujah. I said the fire's gone out. It's time to wake up and get back. Turn to God. Return to God. He said, return to me. Oh, won't you just let us loose and let us go. You may go. But I'm going to holler at you all the way down the road. Better come back. Amen. Hell's hot. Hell's an awful place. Yes, it is. And those rich men said it's an awful place. Yeah. Send somebody back to warn my five brothers not to come to this awful place. If I'm coming. The two words the church don't want to hear no more. That's holiness and hell. Amen. Both of them right. There's a burning hell and holiness is right. And it'll get you to heaven. Living right and get you to heaven, folks. Turn it away from your sin. Going back to the altar, repenting. Coming back to God like the prodigal son. Found himself ragged and barefooted, hungry. Stripped of everything. Spent his, all of his money with Riley's living. 
knocked on the door and said, would you give me something to eat? He said, go slop the halls and eat with them. He would have eaten. But he saw himself. He saw himself and said, I know what I'm going to do. My father's God. Servants are better food than this. I know what I'm going to rise. And I'm going back to my father's house. And I'm going to say, Father, I've sinned against heaven. I've sinned against thee. I'm no more worthy to be called. Listen, let me be one of your heart servants. He rose up and headed home. His father saw him coming. Hallelujah. He ran to him. He ran to him. He ran to him. Fell on his neck and kissed him. Said, this is my son was lost. Is now found blind but now he's dead. Oh, he's dead. But now he lives. Go get me that best thing. Go get me them new pair of shoes. Go get me that ring. He said, you know how? Let me go back in the house. Just put me out there with the servants. God don't have to restore you. God ain't never had to restore nobody. If you really repent like the prodigal son, you won't have to go back. God will take you all the way back. God will restore you. God will take you back to where you was. He said, I restore the years that the cake of her and the caterpillar and the pond of worm is eaten. I'll take you all the way back. Just repent. See your need for God. I said, see your need for God. Folks, there's a famine in the land tonight. For hearing the word of God. Churches everywhere. Gathering up preachers. But they're not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're not preaching the Word of God. Amen. They're preaching this new doctrine. Once saved, always saved. Salvation without repentance. I don't know no salvation without repentance. You must repent. You've got to repent. You've got to repent. 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 Repent of your sin. Call on the name of Jesus. Get back to God. Wake up, church. Light that lamp. Get that lamp burning again. Let people see Jesus in you. Boy, how many don't lift your hands and say, Lord, I want, I want somebody to see Jesus in me. Hallelujah. I want somebody to see Jesus in me. You got away from God. Won't you come back? Come home. Come back to Jesus tonight. Return to me, he said, and I'll return to you. Praise God. He'll forgive you if you'll just pray. If you just fall on your knees and say, Lord, forgive me. He'll take away your sins tonight. He'll wash you in his precious blood. Oh, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing. But the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious. This I know. That washed me white. With its snow. No other name I know. Nothing. But the blood of Jesus. Stand on your feet with me tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood. The blood of Washington. You drifted away from the shore like that old song used to say you drifted so far from the shore. Hallelujah. You drifted so far from the shore. It's time to come back. Come and let's gather around these altars tonight. From the shore. Come on, let's come around these altars.
Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Oh Jesus. God wash me. God get this stuff out of us tonight, Lord. Oh, ever God, I'm reading the book of Kings, Lord. Lord, when they found the book, Lord. Oh, they took it to the king and said, I found the book. Oh, Jesus, the king in his garment. Oh, God. They begin to put the house of God back in order. God, the people stood out all day in the sun, Lord. Begin to weep when the word of God was read. Oh, God, help us, Lord, to get back and find it again, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, Lord, we've lost. Lord, you told us in Revelation. You said, I've got someone against you. He said, I've got someone against you. He said, you lost it. You left your first love. Oh, God, I'm guilty, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, I can't point no fingers at anybody else, Lord. God, I'm being honest. Don't nobody else come to mind tonight but me. Oh, God, I've been hateful and hard. God, I'm asking you, Lord, don't leave me in this kind of condition. But Lord, take your word and begin to wash me. Begin to cleanse me, Lord. Oh God, you get, Lord, you're showing us how to get back. Lord, you're showing us, you're giving us a road back, back, God. Oh God, I hear you calling us back, Lord. God, while the altars is open, Lord. While there's a space to get it right, Lord. I want to fall on my face. God, I want to fall on my face at your feet. Jesus, I want to apologize to you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, I want to tell you I'm sorry, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, I'm reaching out, Lord, to you, Lord. God, I'm asking you, Lord, to take your word. By the washing of the word of the word, Lord. God, and wash me, God. Take your blood, Lord, and begin to wash away all of these old spots and blemishes and wrinkles. Oh, God. Lord, there's a world out there tonight, God. Oh, Lord, the Word said that the world is moaning and groaning. God, we know the manifestations of the sons of God. They're suffering out there, Lord. God, they're hurting tonight, Lord. God, they're laying in the hospitals and the prisons. Oh, there's people, Lord, that get the phone call tonight. That that loved one is gone. Oh, Lamb of God, while we're bickering and fussing and fighting. Over oh, who's going to sing or who's going to testify of people that died and going to hell, Lord. Oh, God, we've lost that fellowship, Lord. We fell out of love with our brothers and sisters, Lord. We fell out of love with the house of God. But God let us be like they were when they called and said, We found the book. God, oh, help us to find it again, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. God, I'd rather, Lord, to have an opportunity, Lord. God, for you to show me where I'm wrong, God. And give me a chance to get it right, Lord. But God, we know, Lord, we can't keep going on like we've been going. God. Lord, we can't keep going like we're going, Lord. God, Lord, my people are suffering. God, we ask you tonight, Lord, to help us get back what we've lost, Lord. God, you and you ministers. Drinkers of wine, come and howl. Over the corn and the wine, Lord. Oh, God, help us to howl and weep, God, in the altars, Lord. God, and find our way back, Lord. God, help us, Lord. We've been debarked, God. We've been stripped, Lord. God, that old locust has gnawed away our prayer lives. It's gnawed away in us, God. It's caused us to be barren, Lord. And God, we want to get back, God. But, Lord, we got to come to repentance. 
Oh, Lord, they love the part where he says he's going to pour out his spirit on all flesh. But Jesus, you told us what we needed to do. God, the prophet Joel told us how to get it back. He said, I'm telling y'all how to get it back. I want to give you the formula how to get it back. And God, it's always been the same. Returning back to the altar, laying and howling and praying, Lord. God, it's never been any other way, Lord. God, I know there's messages out there that tell you you ain't got to seek and find. You ain't got to knock. You ain't got to howl. You ain't got to fast and pray, Lord. But I've never found no other way. I've never found any other way. God, I've never found anywhere else, Lord. But shut up somewhere. God, just get along. Searching for you. God, my heart knows, Lord. God, I've never found you any other way, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, you've been shutting everything off. God, and searching for you. Searching you out in my prayer. God, searching you out and fasting and seeking you. I've never found any other way, Lord. Jesus and I, God, you told us that you're, that you're the Word. The Word is the way tonight, God. It's our way back, God. It's to get back what we lost, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Don't let us stiffen our necks tonight and harden our hearts. God, don't let us be like that old publican. God, that Pharisee stood there and he, he bragged about his fasting. He bragged about his prayer life. But Jesus, he said, I didn't hear him when he prayed. But that publican just lowered his head and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And you said, I've heard him when he prayed, Lord. I'd rather get a prayer through, Lord. I'd rather get you to hear my prayer, Lord. God, than you to turn down your off, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Help us to get back, God. Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, Jesus, let it get tenderhearted again, Lord. God, we're so separated, Lord. God, they begin to murmur and complain, Lord. Jesus, who was going to be the greatest, you turned around and you said, Oh, no, that ain't going to be so among y'all. You said, That ain't going to be so. You said the world is going to recognize you by the love that you have one to another, Lord. And God, the world don't see nothing but hate. God, in bitterness and envy and strife. And God, help us to get back that love, Lord. Oh, Lord, let us get it back, God. Oh, Lamb of God, oh, Jesus, God. Oh, God. Lord, we've lost that fellowship, Lord, with one another. God, we're so far apart, God. God, a brother can be starving to death, and somebody won't even know it, Lord. God, we used to feel one another, and we would know when somebody was out of groceries. God, we just feel they had to go buy them some groceries. But now, God, they can sit there and die, and nobody go check on them, Lord. God, help us to get this back out, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, Lord, there's people sitting there saying, I wish somebody would call me. I wish somebody cared enough to come by. God, help us. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Lord, let us get back, God, to be on that light on the hill, Lord. God, that's shining out there in darkness, Lord. God, there's people lost out there. They can't see how to get home, Lord. God, there's people out there looking and searching for a light, and they can't see any, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, let us get the lights turned back home, Lord. God, if that power company comes and removes the meter, God, we ain't got no power, and there's a price paid. you got to go down and pay a price to get it cut back home, Lord. God, help us to get our lights cut back home, Lord. There's a price, Lord, to be paid. And God, help us, Lord, to pay it, Lord. Oh, Lord, God, when they tell you, they send you that bill, Lord, they give you so many days to get it paid, Lord, and then the next one you get, they said, I'm going to cut it off on such and such date. God, I don't want to get it in there or be cut off, Lord. I'd rather pay my bill, Lord. I'd rather pay it, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, I roll my say, read my Congress, Tico, I got. Oh, Lord, my soul, Lord. Oh, God, Lord, it's always been a price. God, it's always been a price, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, we asked you tonight to help us get back. God, where we're supposed to be. God, we've 
slid so far. My God, we slid so far. God, help us to get back, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Lord, to get this stuff out of us, my God. Lord, help us to get it out. God, help us to get it out, Lord. God, help us to get it out, Lord. These old roots of bitterness, let us get a hold to it and pluck it out, Lord. God, help us to get rid of all of this stuff, God. It's binding up and clogging up the service, Lord. Help us to get all this on your spirit and flow. God, so it can flow again. The anointing, it can flow again, Lord. Oh, God. 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 Oh, God.